Shelley from the Really Good Whiskey Company. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to be looking at the American Whiskey Tasting Pack. And I'm joined by my good friends, Victor Cameron, Laura and Alex. So American whiskey, it's a massive category, Victor. It's a we... huge, huge category. Your yeah. favourite, right? Uh, one of my favourites. <laughs> and lots of different types of whiskey. Uh -huh. um, using maize, using barley, using wheat, corn. Yep rye lots of different types uh, different styles so yep. different ways of production continuous distillation batch distillation yeah um very heavily regulated yes a bit like scotch but so different uh, but different laws different rules yep. different regulations so got to have two years maturation for straight bourbon instead of three here um, must be new oak for making bourbon must be charred yeah so lots of rules and regulations about whiskey made in america yeah is that private regulations or is it government no it's governmental regulations yeah. okay. so indeed yeah. and also mostly they use they use more corn don't they than barley yeah use corn yeah something's called maize yeah uh, bourbon it's got to be at least 51 percent corn yeah. so the mash bill is different so yeah. lots of different cereals sure. uh, different proportions mm -hmm. of barley maize yeah. rye to give you different flavors mm -hmm. And I always think of bourbon as like a very sweet sort of vanilla -y, and mm. that's obviously because of the, the barrels, isn't it? Because they char them and it that, that's all the it. vanilla, and the vanilla and Lots of vanilla coconut yeah. coming out yeah. of the wood because it's always virgin American oak. It's mm -hmm. always new wood. Yeah. It's always charred. Yeah. And it gives that extra colour yeah. and extra flavour. Sure. So, and it's matured for a shorter time. Yeah. Because if you matured it for 10, 12 years, you're going to have a very woody whiskey. Yeah indeed right let's dive straight in so first up we've got the early times the old reserve kentucky bourbon whiskey whiskey with with an e whiskey <laughs> with an e and, and sometimes people think if it's bourbon it's got to be made in bourbon county kentucky yeah it's not it just needs to be made in the united states under the bourbon regulation mm -hmm. so you can make it anywhere yeah right yeah which isn't the same, is it? Because I know there's a law of Tennessee whiskey, which it has to go through the Tennessee go through maple process charcoal. and has to go, they filter it through yeah. charcoal. So there's lots of there's different processes. Yes, for different ones. But you indeed. can make bourbon anywhere in the uh -huh. States. Indeed. I mean, yeah. bourbon colour is always a bit more rich, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. A bit more rich because it's virgin oak. It's very charred. different nose. Yeah. Do they use colouring there? They do, don't they? Uh, some I of them can. Some, I think yeah. it's part of their process, yeah. but I'm not sure about sure. different brands. Uh -huh. You also get quite a, a lot of spiciness um, from the yeah. rye. Yeah, so if you've got a big <coughs> amount of rye in your mash bill, you'll get more spicy. If it's less, it'll be sweeter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But it smells completely Com different. Yeah. Scotch. Scotch, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it is whiskey. You know, you can make whiskey anywhere in the world. Yeah. Mm. Um, but this is a, so make it in America, yeah, but it's yeah. completely different from uh -huh. Scotch whiskey. But I love putting them in a blind whiskey tasting because it just yeah. differentiates oh, yeah, everything totally so well. Different. Yeah, yeah. 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 indeed. So it's really strong. It's very strong. It's very uh, there's, there's a lot more pronounced distinctive aromas mm -hmm. in bourbon mm. than there is in yeah. scotch. That's that virgin wood. I mean, with bourbon, you always get the first hit. Yeah. yeah. Much stronger than... Mm. Yeah. It's much easier to pick, to up, pick up the pick flavors. Up what's what? There are lots of coconut there. Yeah. Loads. And vanilla, and vanilla. Yeah. corn, like very popcorn. much vanilla and sweetness. Yeah, almost sort of uh, candy floss popcorn uh -huh. yeah. kind of yeah. sweetness. Cheer! I'm not going to say slange because that would do. Oh yeah, country. What yeah, would you say in America? Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. 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 <laughs> It's very much more mellow than I was anticipating. It's yeah, quite, it's quite nice. It's mellow Sweet. and no finish. No, no, no. It's no. got some funny, like not funny, but like it's got like odd mm. bitter notes that I wasn't expecting. They're not odd. They taste nice, but mm. I just wasn't expecting those based on the sweetness. It sort of yeah. has a much bit more bitter. I felt a bit of dates. I don't know, but oh. just on oh, the right. first. I got the sweetness and then uh -huh. it, yeah. it went into a little bit of a and spice. And then it's gone. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sweet, <laughs> then it sweet gone. coconut and then... Yeah. It's all very quick, yeah. Yeah. But a completely different style of whiskey. Mm -hmm. and you can get lots of different styles from all across the world. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a good... It's definitely a good difference. start because yeah. it's, it's, you know, it's not too yeah. intense. 
and that yeah. is a Kentucky bourbon. Kentucky bourbon. So with a sweet whiskey, would you try pair it with something more spicy or would you say something a bit more sweet? I'd Do probably you? pair that with Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking hung from No, the um, yes, maybe if it's sweet, something a bit spicy. In so your it's always food, yeah. Yeah, kind of yeah. opposite. To complement it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Indeed. Okay, all right, let's have a look yeah. at number two, which is the Old Forester. And this is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. So if it says straight, that yeah. means it's got to be matured for two years. Yeah. Because some bourbons don't need to be uh -huh. matured that long. But yeah. if it's straight, it's it so many different uh, mm. regulations. And this has got quite a, and it's got a, quite yeah. a lot yeah. of few things in the mash yeah. bill. It's, it's got rye, it's got yeah. corn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's got a gorgeous colour. I mean, quite syrupy. Yeah. 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 It's so it's a beautiful colour, isn't beautiful it? Colour. Almost, almost orange Absolutely. changes yeah. coming yeah. through. Really interesting. You always expect so much when you see that beautiful colour, yeah, don't yeah. you? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Swimming pool straight away, chlorine. Oh yeah. <laughs> don't Cl chlorine. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> See, I, I, I find it difficult to differentiate bourbons because yeah. I'm, I'm not so used to them. Mm -hmm. mm. So I'm, again, I'm getting the sweetness, the vanilla, yeah, so the exactly coconuts. Yes, exactly what I'm getting. Mm. Yeah. And, I, oh, and, and I'm getting the spirit. Like, yeah. I, I don't want to say paint stripper, but yeah. that kind of like spirity. Yeah, that's, that's esters coming through. But you're definitely getting, it's a bit yeah. more punchy than the first one. If you yeah. go back to the first one, yeah. that, now you mm. can understand it's a little bit more mellow. Oh, yeah. And oh that yeah, one's oh, definitely. Like, yeah. yeah, and that one's got a bit of punch. It's to interesting because it. if I hadn't yeah. have tried them next to each other, I'd have said, "Oh yeah, they, they sell they similar." Sell the <laughs> exactly. The interesting thing about bourbons, yeah, they all use their own yeast strains. Yes, they do. So they get a lot of different flavours mm -hmm. in the fermentation. Mm. I mean, in Scotland, yeah. we all use the same type of yeast, but these guys use different. They grow their own yeasts, and that gives them different flavours in yeah. the fermentation. Different amount of sugar. Yeah, and, well, different different um, esters and different acids during fermentation. Yeah. So we'll give it a different flavour at the end. Cheers. 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 It's a bit, it's a bit more rye-ish. Yeah. bit of rye a in bit there. bit more rough. Yeah. A bit spicy, a bit yeah. harsh. Yeah. Mm. I feel like that's like a real serious. Yeah. yeah and, you, and you kind of pick that up when you, Yeah. Smelt it. For me, this is what I expect from a bourbon. Yeah. You know, that punchy, yeah. all over the uh -huh. place. But then that's what some people want mm. in their whiskies. It's, it's they want uh, the punch. youth and harshness and yeah. bang. Yeah. I wonder how it would be with a little bit of water in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which makes sense because they often hear. I think for a beginner, always, if it's maybe a bit too powerful yeah. for you, try with a bit of water and see. Yeah, see what like it is. Exactly. Thank you, Alex. Give it a swirl. With the water, it's like much less harsh on the nose. Yeah, it's really <sighs> like that. All dampened that, those it esters down. have really gone. Is there a difference in ABV between the two? Oh, that tiny bit of water really takes the harshness away. Mm. So the first one Tones is forty right percent, mm. and this is. The old forester, which is forty-seven and a half percent. No, yeah. Yeah. Also yeah. Add. So that's a good bit uh -huh. more alcohol there. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Bit more but punchy. with a drop of water, and if you um, if you think about how Americans often serve it on the rocks, or yeah, yeah, which in effect adds water. Right. But yeah, definitely, I would agree with you. If, if, uh, by adding a little mm. bit of water, kind of mellows it, just out, tones makes it, down. it a little bit easier to sure. drink. A bit more gentle, uh -huh. a bit more. Yeah. Um, easier on the drinking. Yeah. Okay, all right. Let's dive into number three. So it looks like a completely different whiskey, I'm assuming it is. It is, because this is 100% um, straight corn whiskey. Straight corn whiskey. Yes, and this is the Platte Valley. Yeah. Let me show away the colour is light, much, yeah. Yeah. much lighter. Much lighter. Absolutely, it looks like corn. Yeah. I mean, there's not as many and it smells like really. corn. If you close your eyes, I just always smell yeah. corn on the cob. Oh, you always eyes. say yeah. that, but I know I always for say, me, I, I, I always get marzipan. Mm. Yeah. I'm getting marzipan. Yeah, yeah marzipan. me as well. It's so interesting Hazelnut. because sometimes people say they get, they get popcorn, yeah. but yeah. I'm always just getting marzipan. Um, this one's been matured under the regulations. You don't have to mature corn yes. whiskey and just distill it uh -huh. straight in the bottle. Yeah, but it's this like one has for two years. You spirit, but this has been matured. I wonder if that makes a difference in terms 
of mm. making a bit more mellow. It must take off the heart then. Well, well it's it off the heart. And yeah. it'll have some flavour from the wood uh -huh. in there mm. as well. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Very, very smooth. Oh. Easy. Marzipan comes out for me in the taste. Yeah. Oh, but see, I, I just corner the cob now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Thank you. So I just went from marzipan corner to corner on the, the cob. cob. That's, yeah. that's quite a smooth um, finish, uh, mm. uh, drink, but then the finish has like a. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't well, know how I've to got, describe I've got, it. I've got, got absolutely nothing. It's a thin mouth. Taste I agree. And the finish is just gone. Gone, yeah. I've you got got feel it for a second. Yeah. It's not a huge finish, but there's a. As it's finishing, there's this weird or different, I would say, it's flavor. Like a, this is going to sound weird, but it's like eating soil. <laughs> Never tried yeah, that exactly. one before. <laughs> you know, it's like, sort of, sort of soil, earth. Oh. I, don't know, I like kind of. this better than the other two. It's my, that's my. I, I would say the other two are more my style. Oh, yeah. no. This one's a bit, a bit more interesting. This is mellow. This I would yeah. say mellow if me. you did get this box, definitely maybe start with this one because it's much easier ah, to go up. Yeah. You know, it's much uh -huh. softer, smoother. Yeah, that's yeah. a good. That's a good yeah. call. Yeah, start with this okay. one yeah. so and go to the bourbons. Interesting. Yeah. You know, I I feel like I, for me, um, American whiskey is very much undiscovered because mm. I've drunk a lot of scotch. Mm. I've explored a lot of scotch. I don't know that much about American whiskey, apart from the few that I have tried. Yeah. Um, it's something I definitely think I want to explore more. This is a good start. Mm. I think I'm going to dive in. I am going to go corn whiskey way rather though than, yeah. than rice. Right. Interesting. interesting. So, it's yeah. something interesting to do yeah. rather than Absolutely. scotch. Absolutely, yeah. As long as you come back to scotch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like a true scotch. A quick hobby. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed those whiskies as much as we did. Um, you can find more on our website at reallygoodwhiskey.com. We have loads of other tasting packs and we have the full-size bottles of all of those whiskies. So subscribe to our channel. Look out for our live tasting videos, which we do quite often. And we hope to see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah.